Hello, hello. How is everyone today? Um, I haven't done a clothing haul in a long time. Why? Because I have not gone shopping in a really long time. So, you know, with COVID and just personal stuff and different things, I had not been like to a mall, like really, really shopping in a mall in a very long time. I have done a few online things and um, done a few things like here and there, thrift shopping here and there, but not to the same where I was really like, you know, replacing basics and getting things and getting a few, a, a gift, as well as, you know, getting a few things for the summer, replacing things that I'd had for years and years and years that have just seen better days. Okay. So, um, I went, I had a friend who, uh, drove me to the mall and we had a fun time. We had lunch and, and we, you know, the mall where we near where we live had had a totally total re renovation and they're still renovating. They're still doing new stuff. So, and luckily it's one of the most successful malls in the area as where some others are dying out. It's still kind of fun. Like for me, I like to feel the fabrics. I like to experience things in person and, you know, hold things up, see if they're long enough, see if they're, uh, see if the neckline will work or see if things are too high or too low or those kinds of things. You cannot replace in-person shopping. Or else, if not, you buy things online and then you end up standing in line to return things in the post office or you're getting things that are too small or things that are too long or whatever. So I like to go in person. Once in a while, I have to go in person, especially for things like, you know, basic things, things that are pants, things that things that are necessary that I need for my wardrobe, okay? Wardrobe staples, okay? So I went to Macy's and I went to Old Navy. Those are the two places I went and I actually, that I actually bought clothes. We also looked in a few other boutiques, but for the most part, we really did Macy's. We walked all the way around the whole top level Macy's uh, in Bethesda, Westfield. Shout out to Westfield Montgomery. That's the Montgomery Mall. It's, we used to call it Montgomery Mall. Now it's called Westfield Montgomery. It's Bethesda, Maryland. That's, that's the mall that was I one of my first paying jobs was in that mall in the early 80s when I was in high school and then later I worked there in one of the hair salons there as a stylist in the late 90s um I have a lot of history with that mall from years and years and years of going there to shop when it was some of my first paychecks and then going there to shop like you know when I worked there and and when you know various times when I worked there in the 90s and then later on shopping in certain stores that I just really really loved um and and thank god they're so macy's thank god now what they did was they had been a pennies but they split it up where half of macy's is that's closed is on the one side and where it used to be the jc pennies is the macy's home store so the macy's that's the main macy's is men's clothes on um men's and kids on the lower level and all women's fragrances makeup jewelry shoes accessories and all the clothes are on the second the upper level which is pretty amazing because you can go from juniors you can go from women's you can go plus sizes petites all those things you can go from every section oh and they even had a gorgeous is i have never ever been there when they put all the special occasion dresses out like all the mother of the bride all the prom dresses all i mean there were some gorgeous gorgeous gowns and they were all laid out because it's right now it's march this is the time when people are shopping for you know bridesmaids dresses and prom dresses all those things so just to see the racks and see things put out it's really really it was it, it was it was like a jolt it was like fun to see all the sequins and the sparkles and just seeing like you know the, just the layer of the dresses some dresses had fringe and and sequins and some had looked like very art deco and some dresses were you know just like um uh, almost like a, a, a sparkly tank top with a matching skirt, like that kind of two-piece look, almost like a two-piece bathing suit, except it was like a long skirt with like crop top kind of a thing, kind of like the Shane the Shea wedding dress um, from Vanderpump Rules, except this is like the prom dress version. They had so many gorgeous, gorgeous gowns. So if you are looking for prom dresses, 
um, uh, attendance, bridal attendance dresses, or just, just, uh, or like bridesmaid dresses, um, maid of honor, all those things. This is the time to go. Everything is out. And they had all these different sizes, gorgeous mother of the bride, mother of the groom. If you're looking for those types of things, they had lots of things, different sizes, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I didn't need to buy any of that, but they also had lots of dresses for Easter. Uh, it was just fun to look at all of everything. They had lots of new Donna Karens and Tommy Hilfiger's and so many bright colors. Tis the season to be dressed up because many of us have been inside for a long time. There were so many patterns and so many florals and so many bright colors. It was really, it was really, really fun to see. Just especially to walk around with a girlfriend, someone who isn't bored and, and you know, and just someone who just like, she hadn't been shopping either in a really long time. So it was very fun. We could laugh about, oh, hey, look at this, look at that. Or hey, we could, you know, just say, oh, you would look good in this. And you know, it was just fun. It was very fun. And, and I, it's like retail therapy, really. It's, it was so helpful. Okay, so anyway, I went to Macy's first. And first thing I'm just going to show, they had a bunch of shirts on sale. Okay, I often get, go to this Karen Scott section. Okay, Karen Scott is like one of Macy's house brand. It's almost like their little preppy brand or whatever. But, because uh, it's the navy blue. Um, but anyway, my mother-in-law wears a lot of yellow. This uh, I saw this in her size. It's just so cute. And this is going to be her Mother's Day gift. Cute little top, size medium. Really, really cute. Especially for someone who likes yellows, bright colors. They had this style of shirt. And I actually bought this style shirt in multiple colors, multiple patterns. This style with the V-neck and these little snaps. And you can, I think they're, yeah, they're little buttons. If you want to go lower, you can go lower. Just really cute. Nice length. Not too long, but not too short. Very, very cute. And you know, size, true to size. Okay. So, um, this was just a really cute pattern. I almost got one for myself, but I don't usually do yellows, but just very springy and cute, but at the same time, very modern art. So, um, so yeah, I'm going to get a gift and I have a gift receipt. So I'm going to, you know, put that in a nice little, um, nice little gift box for her for that. Okay. So I also got that same top in my size now, these now I did notice when I held it up, and I'm usually an XL, okay? But when I held it up for me, I did notice that there was a lot of extra fabric. It's actually cut wide. So it was cut wide. So I did get an L, get mine all L's and not, um, uh, not XL because I saw how much extra fabric was there. So I just thought this was so cute. This is more than just the t-shirt, but this is also in the Karen Scott. Now all these were $12.99. Okay, now the yellow one, these were all $9.74, except for one, which was $13.49. Okay, so um, really, really, um, yeah. So almost everything was, everything I got was $9.74. And then I think I got one thing. Yeah, one thing was thirteen forty nine. So I'm sure. So, but all of this was twelve ninety nine, and then marked even more marked down. So really reasonable. So I just thought this was a cute little summer top. Really, really fun design here. And I can wear this with you know jeans. I can wear this with black because it's got blue. It's got my. It's got uh, this aqua that I love. This Tiffany. It's got this white and it's got the navy and it's got black so I can wear this with black leggings I can wear this blue jeans it's just one of those good all-around tops and it's got my um a wider neckline so really really cute because I like more things that are more open so anyway so there's that so that one's this one okay put that here and then I also got this. Okay, this is a V-neck. This is also a Karen Scott. This is so cute. I think this was really, really cute. I love this because you know I love my pinks. And I love this pattern. And this is more of a V-neck. And um, just really cute. Also size L. And this one was the 19. And I love how it's 
kind of like that watercolor look where you see you have darker and lighter and uh, brighter. So if you're wearing like burgundy, I could wear this. I have burgundy leggings I could wear this with. These shirts are all long enough so you could wear them over leggings and kind of give yourself a little butt coverage. So that's really cute too. And if you're wearing it with like, you know, if you're wearing with like white leggings or white pants or white capris or or jeans or faded jeans, light jeans, that kind of thing, it's one of those good all around uh, tops for that. So, um, yeah, so I like the V-neck and of course, you know, size L. So really cute. One thing, these all, for the most part, were running, what, extra small to XL, but I did think I saw a couple of XXLs there. So if you were looking for that too, uh, there's that. So then I also got, what else did I get? I got um, just the same in just plain pink, because, you know, I love, I almost, I go through, you know, sometimes I'll get something, even this today, like, look, you can see, I got a little bit of something here. It may come out, it might not, but it's very easy for it's for solid. Sometimes I might be going somewhere where I have another pink t-shirt like this, but that might one button might be in the wash and I want to wear another pink shirt that goes with something, skirt or bottoms or something that I have, uh, or an outfit or a jacket or something for spring. So this is really great, just nice, you know, all around basic you know, pink v-neck. Okay, so then they had the same thing. And this is one of my favorite colors, this royal blue. So this was just like a shirt stock up. Um, and I love this royal blue. It's one of my favorites. Also a little on the longer side. Um, and then, you know, it just gives you a little bit of coverage, but at the same time, a nice V. And, um, you know, just really, really, as you can see, you know, it's just one of those good colors on me. Okay, and then what else did I get? Oh, I also got it in that, there's with the little buttons. Also, this is that that really great, you know, pretty, it's almost like an aqua green. Um, it's one of my, another good color on me. And, you know, I have, so, I yes, I have that one, but this one is a little thicker, you know, so sometimes if it's a really hot day, you have the other one, but sometimes you need more fabric. You need to be a little warmer. So you have these transition clothes. Sometimes you're in somewhere where there's air conditioning and it's really, really cold. Um, and, and then next thing, you know, you need something with a little more weight to it. What I like about these is it's not see-through. So many t-shirts that you buy online, even some of the, you know, I, I did go to Old Navy here, but some of the Old Navy shirts are thin, 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 okay? And you almost can see through them. These are real, a nice thickness. It's not too thick. It's so soft. The material is really soft, but you don't see your bra through it. Okay. Sometimes you want to be in a position where you look professional. I don't want to be in a position where um, people are seeing things through here. You know, you just want to wear something that covers you. It's stylish. It's cute. A nice color. Professional looking. You don't end up having like seeing every little thing when it's too sheer. So and they also give a little extra snaps for the little snap area right here. So very cute, very necessary. Like I said, wardrobe staples. Okay. And what else is here? Okay. Oh, these are what I usually wear as shorts. It's basically like a split skirt. And you can see it's like, whoops, got a little something here. Okay. So this is like a drawstring. It's kind of like comes to the knee. These are kind of like culottes, I guess you could call them. Uh, these I buy in the PXL. These are stretchy, have a stretchy waist, waistband with a drawstring. Very comfortable, cool, but at the same time, once again, there's pockets that are really cute, but they do not, it's a nice knit material, not too thick, not too, it's not itchy in any way, but at the same time, you don't have that see, you don't have a see-through line, which many, many of these, um, uh, some of these things that are made out of that knit material is too lightweight and it's almost too thin, okay? So this is a good substantial. I usually buy, I was hoping to get two because I have a bunch of these and at least I must have four or five or six of them because I usually wear them all summer long, okay? But 
about four out of the six have seen better days. I'm going to see if I can find another one online so I can retire at least two of them um, and then kind of, you know, carry on the other ones. But I could only find one of the, and this is Petite in the Petite XL of the Karen Scott. And this is also Karen Scott in the uh, long culotte uh, style. So they're like shorts or kind of like, uh, it depends on your leg length. For me, they're like almost like to the knee or just below. Um, not not that mid-length capri, but kind of like just below the knee. Um, almost like a gaucho, I guess you could call them. But these are what I wear in um, summer in, in instead of doing shorts. Um, so, and then what else, what else, what else? Oh, and I did get the a black shirt in with the um with the snaps so i always like basic black you know goes with everything i can wear scarves i can wear you know some of these things i have some shirts that are faded really old i've got to go through my closet and toss the things that have just seen better days because there are a lot of things that um you know sometimes you need to replace and they get faded and they get pilled and they really look um just use and sometimes you know of course me because I'm doing using hair color I'm using sometimes um, bleach sometimes I might get a one or two tiny little bleach stains and in a weird place or cooking or grease or something and then boom I have a problem okay so um so yeah so you know really cute and of course they always have this extra snap and I just think that's really, really great. So if you want to have it lower or if you want to keep it more modest, you can. So, and this is once again, nice butt coverage, not too, not too long. Cause a lot of these shirts sometimes end up being, almost like a, sometimes they're really long. It's, it's too long, but really you can tuck it in if you want to tuck it and just really, really cute. So, okay. So that was Macy's. Okay, so what did I buy? So I think one of them was thirteen forty nine, um, and I have a feeling it was the I have a feeling it was the yellow one, and um, and it was and I saved twenty seven dollars and twenty five cents with the coupon savings, and uh, my total was eighty seven dollars. Okay. So Old Navy, now I did not have my Old Navy coupons, but I did have uh, ones that were, um, I did have some things that were on my card. And what I might do is I may go back and go back and see if they'll take, um, uh, take because a lot of these things were on sale. Some things were $10 off. Some, some things were 50, 50, $10 off, 50% off. Some things were in the, um, 50% off, uh, sales racks. So I did save with old Navy. How much did I save? How much would I save? Oh, total discount of 4150. But I have a feeling if I went back with my coupon, I bet I could probably get more. So, um, so first things first, uh, last year, I, these were in the pajama pants section. Okay. So, and they're, they run very big. Okay. They're very loose and then they get very thin down to here and you get like this little cuff, which is really cute because they kind of have that baggy look and they get down to the cuff at the, at the uh, ankle. So what I found was that the large is almost runs, they run very big, okay? They run very, very big because look at how low the crotch is. There's very, very long. It's almost like, almost like a harem pant, okay? And these are, I would say, a little on the thinner side, okay? Um, and you can kind of, you can kind of see through a little bit. But in the summer, when it's 100 degrees outside and 100% humidity, even though these are pajama pants, these are very comfortable, loose weight, loose, loose, loose fitting, great pants to just throw on. If you need just pants to wear around the house, um, and instead of always wearing, like for me, I get tired of the seams of leggings. I get very itchy. I get tired of always being in leggings all the time. So I have a lot of old pants, old leggings that have seen better days that I'm going to toss and I'm going to wear, wear these instead. Anyway, these have, um, 
These have elastic waist and they're really, really comfortable. And so I got a couple pairs of these. So I'm going to toss some of those old leggings that are faded out and, and just, you know, they're just they're worn out. <laughs> and so some of them I am going to keep and they're still in good shape. And then some I'm going to, but I got and in this section, they also have many different patterns. Um, last year I bought a set of the same material uh, that have pine white with pineapples all over them, really cute pajamas, and they look like pajamas because of the print. These, the black ones, even though they're they're marketed as pajamas, they're very soft, and you could still wear them as like around the house comfort wear. And then I also got the shirt that goes with that because um, you know it's just nice to have. It's really stretchy. It's really comfortable. And but both of these I got an L because you can see how wide they're cut. It's not like an L that's cut like this. It's a, it's a very very generous cut for Old Navy. So I just wanted to. I did not want to get an XL and be swimming in it. Okay, that's what I find, especially if they're cut to be med like for a medium size and not petite. They're usually, it's almost like they're cut for like a tall, broad shouldered, wide back, a, a woman with almost like a tall, wide back. It's the only way I can explain it. Almost too unisex is, is, you know, so is what I've noticed, especially for someone that's more on the petite, even though I'm plus size, I'm still a petite and I have like shorter arms, shorter torso. So sometimes those things are like just swimming on me. Okay. So this was, uh, so I've aired on the side and I learned la last year that that's what I wanted to get. Okay. So they had some really cool rocker tees. So and even though it's cropped on me, it's still like the right length. Um, so they had, look at this, a cool Bowie shirt with the Aladdin Sane makeup, or you know me, I can't, can't resist that. And then they had um, the Stevie Nicks, really, really cool, love this, love the Stevie, and it's so cool. I'm so glad they brought back some of these old fonts and some of these old, old designs for rock music and rocker tees. Some of us were, were into it the first go-round. There's a lot of youngins who are wearing these things and either they love the music or they just like, hey, that's cool, that's cool, that, that's a cool design, that's cool, I like this, da, da, da. and they'll wear it and they're, they don't know, from hole in the wall. Or maybe they'll get into it and go, oh, who's this? Oh, I'm gonna look this up, well, you know, I'm gonna get into it. But, you know, you never know. Okay, so then they also had a bunch of sports bras and I got two because my black sports bras have seen better days. Um, what I like about this, two things, okay? For one thing, it has a nice white band, okay? If you can see right here. Um, it has some reinforced cups, and then you have the spaghetti strap, but it's an adjustable spaghetti strap. Plus, sometimes you like the padding, okay? And sometimes you don't, right? So you can actually go here and pull the padding out and then you still get the support, but you might not need that extra, you know, sometimes you need like that extra padding, okay? But other times, like for me, I feel like extra padding just makes is another thing to add. It's more weight added and more sweat. Now, sometimes if you're wearing something that's more form fitting and you actually end up getting like, it's more like a nipple coverage so that you don't have like you know, as much like poking through kind of thing. So when you have this actual padding, that also helps and it also gives you more support. Now, for me sometimes just, now I did get, uh, these are, this is XL because I need for the wider wideness of the band. But sometimes if I buy an XL, I sometimes like the XLs, and of course the train coming again, um, Sometimes with a wider band, and this has some sort of a hook on here. That's kind of weird. I don't know what, what the deal is with this hook, but I need, sometimes with, you need a band and you need an adjustable band because sometimes the band is too long on many of these sports bras because it assumes that the length of the shoulder from the back is longer because they think someone is, t if, assuming someone's taller and you know the measurement from the middle of the um, back strap to the front 
and many I had this problem with sundresses. I had this problem with many uh, certain types of shirts, certain things because I always end up having like almost two to three inches from the middle taking off here, or, or I always have to adjust the strap or I have to try things on sometimes and it ends up being that I always have all this extra room. So I'm lucky that some things I can buy off the rack and not have that problem, but other times I, it, it's such a difference if it's adjustable. So I actually got, because the other one I have has seen better days, I got two of these because it was necessary. Now I got hooked on my thing. So I got two of these and these are in size XL. Okay, so um, the sports bras, let's see. Um, sports bras were $19.99 with $10 off, so it was only $9.99 each, okay. Um, yeah, they're called the Light Support Seamless Convertible Racerback Sports Bra. Okay, loose Sunday Sleep Ultra Sup Pajama Top, that's the, uh, that's the black top. The pajama pants, 20. The right, the two t-shirts with the CV necks and the Bowie were 22, but of $22.99 with $11.50 off each. So I ended up saving, the total was $83.22, but I saved $41.50. So what I'm going to do is I actually have coupons for these, which I should have taken with me, but I just didn't even think until, I, 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 to tell you the truth, the Old Navy's been there quite some time, but in my mind, I only, I, I still forget that it's there because it's like for years and years and years and years, there wasn't one there. And there was only one on an like in a different area. So in my mind, instead of to, you know, and they also they were like, well, we can we can we can see what we can do. Da, 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 don't worry about it. Da, da, da. So I was so glad the guy took some of this off. So I don't know because I said I don't have my cube with me, and he's like, don't worry about it. I'll give you fit. I'll give you this. I'll give you this. He so he took some extra off. So I don't know if I need to go back with my coupon because like he took some extra off or whatever. He took a lot off. He took he took a lot off. When I, as soon as I put in my number, uh, I scanned my card and they're like, oh, okay, you've got this, you've got this, da, da, da. and the same thing with Macy's. Macy's, they were like, if you've got automatic, you've got automatic discounts on here. And with Old Navy, the guy was just like taking things, take, you know, and so I got, you know, so that's pretty good savings. So um, it's a total probably of 87 and 87 and 83. Um, yeah, 87, 83, 22, so that's 163, 22, and a savings of 27, 25, 41, so that is a $68 saving, and so that's, that's pretty incredible. Um, so just from buying things on sale, there were a lot of things on sale, a lot of things half off, a lot of things had an additional 15%, they were, in, in, even though they already had 20% off, there were a lot of things in Macy's and Old Navy that were marked down, and then there were some things like, I think pajamas weren't, but to me, it was well worth it, okay? So anyway, I had not done a shopping haul in a while, as you know, um, sometimes it's just nice to invest in some, you know, a few new things just to just to have just to just to kind of get some things out and um and and just kind of like a wardrobe refresh and um you know and kind of like be prepared for the uh the season to come right season to come as well as things that you know you want to have things that work you want to have things that work for you um, I like things with a few patterns here and there. I like the, some things that, you know, work in certain ways, but at the same time, they're kind of cute and fun and a little different, um, as well as comfortable, right? Bottom line is we want comfortable. I don't like things that itch. Um, I don't, I have, I can't stand an itchy tag. I can't stand, <laughs> I can't stand fabrics that are itchy. I'm very much, so that's another reason why I like to go in person and see how things feel, right? So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this haul video. Um, I usually put in, once again, I always put in all of my information in the box below. Uh, has my links for if you want to shop my website, my Avon website. If you want information, join my team. If you want information, if you want to connect with me on my other social media, 
uh, send me a message on the other social media. If you want to join my VFP group, you can send me a friend request on my Facebook page, which is information down below, and then I can add you to the VIP. So that way you can find out information about specials and some of our, um, you know, special things that I've got, special offers and things even like my cash and carry deals and different things I have going on in there, as well as beauty news and important trends and all kinds of interesting things that I do just post about beauty. And then also my, you would see my live videos. Now, of course, until I get to a thousand, until I get to a thousand, when I get to a thousand, I'll be able to do lives and be able to do comments. Because remember I said a long time ago, Facebook changed the settings, so I can't have that. But if you want to connect me to those other social media, then we can do response. And, and also, you know, share my videos, hit subscribe, hit thumbs up. All those things help me until I, when I get up to a thousand subscribers, I'm going to do that palette giveaway and I can't wait to share that with whoever wins and you know um thank you so much for the support thanks so much always for watching me don't forget to share this video with a friend who likes beauty and style or maybe just someone who might need a smile okay take care thanks so much bye